the only conclusion I can draw. Because the Prime Minister has tools in his hand. The question is not that Narendra Modi Ji will be Pradhan Mantri in 24. The question is that Manipur is being killed by people. People are being killed. The question is that. I watched the Prime Minister of India yesterday, speaking for two hours, laughing, joking, lagging naras in the parliament. The Prime Minister would say one line and the entire BJP would shout another nara. The Prime Minister seems to have forgotten. The state of Manipur is on fire and has been on fire for four months. Women and children are dying over there. People are being murdered. Women are being molested, are being raped. And the Prime Minister of India is sitting in the middle of the parliament, shamelessly laughing. This is not about Rahul Gandhi. This is not about the Congress party. This is not about the opposition. This is about India. It's about our country. A state has been decimated. It has been destroyed. It does not exist anymore. And it has happened because of the politics of the BJP. Divide and rule and burn. That is why in my speech I said, Bharat Mata has been murdered in Manipur. It's very interesting. For the first time, the words Bharat Mata have been expunged from the parliament. It's an insult to those words. What have I said that is wrong? I have said Bharat Mata, which is an idea, which is the idea of India, where everybody lives peacefully, harmoniously, with affection, has been killed in Manipur. It's a fact. The word itself now cannot be spoken by the people of India. We cannot say Bharat Mata in Parliament. I want to tell you about my own personal experience of Manipur. I have spoken to you about, I spoke in Parliament about the women I, I met, the pain I heard. But I want to tell you why I said India has been murdered in Manipur. And I said it because Manipur no longer exists as a state. A state requires control. A state requires authority. That is disappeared in Manipur. It does not exist. And I saw this with my own eyes. When we went to Manipur, when we went to the Meite area, we were categorically told that please ensure we want you to come. We love you. But please ensure that if there are any cookies in your security detail, they do not come into our area or we will shoot them. When I went into the cookie area, we were told the same thing. We love you, we want you to come. But please make sure, if there are any maytes in your security detail, we will shoot them. Do not bring them here. Before going to the mate area, we had to remove all cookies from our security detail. Before going to the cookie area, we had to remove all maytes from our security detail. When we went there, the security forces Central security forces told us we have never seen anything like this. We were told it is completely outside our control. Okay, That is why I said Manipur has been murdered by the BJP and the idea of India has been murdered by the BJP in Manipur. I was not speaking metaphorically. I was speaking literally. Now, the Indian army, it will take the Indian army two days to put an end to the nonsense that is going on in Manipur. The Prime Minister refuses to stop the fire. He wants Manipur to burn. He allows Manipur to burn. Because if he did want it to stop, there are tools at the hands of, in the hands of the Indian government that can stop it immediately. I know. I have full faith in our army. I know. And every Indian citizen knows that if the Indian army is told, please put an end to this, it will stop immediately. There are reasons for the PM not being able to go to Manipur. I'm aware of those reasons. I don't want to say them publicly. But there are clear reasons as to why the Prime Minister is not going there. That is why we wanted the Prime Minister to speak in Parliament. That is why we wanted Manipur to be on the agenda in Parliament. And what did the Prime Minister do? He ridiculed the state. He ridiculed the women of the state. He laughed at the women of the state. That's the truth. Now please ask your question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mike, then I ask. Finally, I, I just want to say one thing again in English. See, the Prime Minister, when he becomes Prime Minister, he ceases to be a politician. He becomes the representative of the voice of this country. His political, the politics should be put aside. And the Prime Minister should speak not as a petty politician, as the leader of a political party, but the Prime Minister should speak with the weight of the Indian people behind him. And it's tragic to watch Mr. Narendra Modi. It's, it's sad. Because the Prime Minister does not understand what he actually is. He is our representative. He's my representative. He's all our representative. 
and watching the prime minister spend two hours talking about the congress talking about the opposition you know making ridiculous remarks about the name this this really does not do justice to an indian prime minister i have seen prime ministers from the congress party i have seen prime ministers from the bjp i have seen mr vajpayee i have seen mr dev gowda none of them have ever done this this is there's a there's a complete misunderstanding in the mind of narendra modi ji about what the prime minister of india is uh, rahul ji uh, you wanted the prime minister to speak in parliament and now that he's spoken and you've said that you know he wants manipur to continue to burn so what is the congress party's next step to retrieve no, manipur and save it i the only conclusion i can draw because the prime minister has tools in his hand that can stamp out the fire in manipur suddenly within 3 or 4 days but for some reason he is refusing to use those tools right the prime minister could at least go to manipur talk to the communities and say i am your prime minister let's start talking it will be taken seriously so i don't see any intention uh, rahul ji rahul ji kal ye bhi pradhanmantri ne apne bhashan mein kaha ke 2000 18 में लेके आए थे 2023 में विश्वास प्रस्ताव लेके आए और 2023 में बिलाएंगे तो एक तरीके से उन्होंने साफ तौर पर ये कह दिया कि मैं तो हमारी सरकार अगली बार भी बन रही है एक पॉलिटिकल बात भी उन्होंने कही तो आप उनके पूरे भाषण को आप ये कह रहे हैं कि पॉलिटिकल भाषण ज्यादा था मणिपुर पे बात बहुत कम थी तो इसको कैसे देखते हैं भाषण हिंदुस्तान के बारे में नहीं था भाषण नरेंद्र मोदी जी के बारे में था वो अपनी राय अपनी राजनीति अपने एम्बिशन वो आपको दे रहे थे सवाल ये नहीं है कि नरेंद्र मोदी जी 24 में प्रधानमंत्री बनेंगे या नहीं सवाल ये है कि मणिपुर जल रहा है महिलाओं के का बलात्कार हो रहा है मार, लोग मारे जा रहे हैं सवाल ये है कि अगर ये प्रधानमंत्री कहना चाहते हैं तो ये पब्लिक मीटिंग में कहें मजाक बनाना चाहते हैं तो जब मणिपुर नहीं चल रहा है तो, कर, तो करें बट प्रधानमंत्री को यह समझ आनी चाहिए बात समझ आनी चाहिए कि पार्लियामेंट में जो चर्चा हो रही थी उनके बारे में नहीं थी तो मणिपुर के बारे में थी सर सर नमस्कार कल प्रधानमंत्री जी ने बार बार कांग्रेस का नाम लिया और ये आरोप लगाया कि नॉर्थ ईस्ट और मणिपुर की सारी कांग्रेस नहीं अभी मैंने बोला ना वही तो जवाब है मुझे प्रधानमंत्री को जवाब देने की जरूरत नहीं है मैं सिर्फ ये कह रहा हूं कि एक स्टेट की हत्या की गई है भारत माता की हत्या कर दी गई है मणिपुर में भारत माता की हत्या मणिपुर में कर दी गई और प्रधानमंत्री लोकसभा में मजाक उड़ा रहे हैं हंस रहे हैं नारे लगवा रहे हैं मुझे क्या जवाब देने की जरूरत है राहुल राहुल आपने बोला कि प्रधानमंत्री ने बोला सदन में कि गृह मंत्री अमित शाह ने विस्तार से जवाब दे दिया अमित शाह साहब ये कहते हैं कि मणिपुर के सीएम को हटाने की जरूरत इसलिए नहीं है क्योंकि उन्होंने हमारी पूरी बात सुनी और वो कभी भी कोई हमने डीजीपी चेंज किया डीजीपी चेंज कर दिया उन्होंने जो भी प्रशासनिक व्यवस्था हम चेंज करना चाहते थे इसलिए मणिपुर सीएम को हटा मणिपुर सीएम जब मैं मणिपुर गया मणिपुर सीएम ने जो मणिपुर में हजारों वेपन हजारों वेपन जो लूटे गए वो मणिपुर सीएम के नीचे ही हुआ तो क्या अमित शाह चाहते थे कि ये हजारों वेपन लूटे जाएं? राहुल जी जो हिंसा चल रही है क्या अमित शाह चाहते हैं कि हिंसा चलती जाए चीफ मिनिस्टर उसको रोक नहीं पा रहा है अमित शाह जी कह रहे हैं कि भैया वो हमारी बात मान रहा है तो आ, क्या, क्या आप चाहते हैं कि मणिपुर चलता जाए राहुल जी एक संसद में एक नया ट्रेंड दिखाई दे रहा है कि कई सेशन से ओपोजिशन के एम या तो सस्पेंड हो रहे हैं या डिस्कालीफाई हो रहे हैं या सेशन से एक सेशन से ज्यादा ये ओपोजिशन के एम का जो प्रिविलेज मोशन या प्रिविलेज रूल्स के तहत जो डिस्कालीफिकेशन हो रहा है या सस्पेंशन हो रहा है इस, इसका जो ट्रेंड बढ़ रहा है इसको आप लोग कैसे एड्रेस करेंगे आप देखिए एम को निकालें वापस डालें हमारा काम बदलता नहीं है हमारा लक्ष्य जो मणिपुर में हो रहा है उसको रुकवाने का है जो भी औजार हमारे हाथों में है उस हिंसा को रुकवाने के लिए उनका हम प्रयोग कर रहे हैं और करेंगे मिस्टर गांधी यू टॉक्ट अबाउट यूजिंग द आर्मी डिप्लॉइंग द आर्मी टू कंट्रोल वायलेंस यू स्पोक दैट इन पार्लियामेंट यू रिपीटेड हियर Uh, but the bjp has criticized you and even previous congress government saying that we want to solve the issue through dialogue and they've criticized that in 
uh, in the 60s and 64, the Mizo National Famine Front was bombed by the Indian Army, uh, by the Indian Air Force. So uh, they said that you know they. I have believe I have it. never heard, in my entire, in my entire career I have never seen I have never been told, anywhere I have been in India, that if you take this person as a security officer with you, we will put a bullet in his head. I have never heard it, and I heard it, twice in Manipur. That means there is no dialogue in Manipur. There is pure violence taking place in Manipur. The first step is to stop the violence, put an end to it. I point out the army, but what I mean is that the Prime Minister has multiple uh, instruments in his hands. He's not using them. It's been burning for four months. He's doing nothing and he's laughing. I'm amazed, I'm amazed people can't see this. That he's sitting in Parliament and laughing. Rahul ji, you have given the bhaashan of 37 minutes. And in 37 minutes, you have shown about 14 minutes. The rest of you have not been on your camera. And you have gone to Manipur. You have said maximum time on Manipur. What do you see from this Parampara? I don't know. Maybe there is a contradiction. Maybe the PM doesn't want to see my face on TV. But then PM talks about my video. तो पता नहीं क्या है बट मुझे लगता है शायद उनको मेरा चेहरा टीवी पे देखना अच्छा नहीं लगता कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है जो मैंने बोलना था देखिए मुझे अपना काम करना है मैं जानता हूं कि मीडिया पे कंट्रोल है लोकसभा राज्यसभा टीवी पर कंट्रोल है वो उसके बारे में मैं कुछ ज्यादा नहीं कर सकता मगर मुझे अपना काम करना है मैं अपने काम को करता हूं जहां भी भारत माता पर आक्रमण होगा वहां मैं आपको खड़ा मिलूंगा भारत माता की रक्षा करते हुए मिलूंगा Okay, last question, brother. The Supreme, the Supreme Court has already said what it has in terms of a constitutional breakdown, as well as now, you know, you are asking for the army. Do you believe that Article 356 is the only way out? Or I'm not, look, I'm not asking for anything. Please don't misunderstand. It is not my place to decide which tool the Prime Minister can use, which instrument he should use. I am pointing out that there are multiple instruments that the Prime Minister has at his disposal. And he is not using a single one. I'm pointing out that Manipur has been burning now for four months and the Prime Minister is in a very good mood. He's sitting in Parliament, he's laughing, he's joking, his entire cabinet is in giggles. Uh, this to me seems completely insane. This has got to stop. India is burning in Manipur. The idea of India has been destroyed in Manipur. Let's rebuild it quickly.